Yesterday was the Duchess of Cambridge's 40th birthday, a significant milestone in the royal's life. While birthdays are usually a time for celebration, her special day was overshadowed two years ago by an announcement from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. William and Harry's relationship has been strained for several years, and this situation was worsened when the Sussexes announced in January 2020 that they planned to leave royal duties. The announcement sent shockwaves around the world, and also may have inadvertently impacted Kate's birthday the day after, a royal author claimed. Phil Dampier told at the time, apart from anything else, Harry and Meghan's announcement has overshadowed Kate's 38th birthday. It's just another example how far the so-called Fab Four have drifted apart and I doubt Harry and Meghan will be at any celebrations for Kate. It's a sad day for the monarchy that these two brothers and their wives, who have the potential to be such a positive force, are now in this position. The relationship between Kate and Meghan has been a subject of much debate in recent years. In November 2018, The Telegraph reported that Meghan made Kate cry at a bridesmaid's dress fitting for Princess Charlotte. Kensington Palace didn't comment on the story when it was published. Meghan later told Oprah Winfrey in March 2021 that the report was false, and in fact it was her, not Kate, who had ended up in tears after the dress fitting. The Duchess of Sussex added that Kate owned it and apologized to her with a handwritten note and flowers. Kate hasn't publicly commented on Meghan's interview with Oprah or her side of the story, but royal expert Ms. Nichols said a the time that the Duchess of Cambridge was mortified by this version of events. She told, From what I hear, there are different versions of the bridesmaid's story not just the one Meghan discussed. Kate felt it was all sorted, so to have it brought up again was mortifying. Kate is not in a position to respond and Meghan and Harry know that. Ms. Nicol added that Kate has never wanted reports of a rift with Meghan to be published in the press. She added, Kate is so discreet and respects her personal life. You never hear about her falling out with anyone because she is very careful with how she treats others. Kate and William both feel they were hugely welcoming to Meghan and Harry. While it is unclear how Kate and Meghan's relationship with each other is at this point in time, reports in August suggested duchesses could be planning a joint Netflix project. A source told at the time, Meghan and Kate are actually getting along really well and have been in touch more often. Meghan has been talking to her about collaborating on a project for Netflix, a documentary that will spotlight Kate's charity work and the huge impact she's made with her philanthropy. Kate is very flattered, and it's all very positive between them. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have a team of loyal and talented staff running their popular social media accounts, sharing details of their royal duties and charity projects. But every now and again Kate and William take over the keyboard and send personal messages themselves. William does it more regularly than his wife, normally sending messages about sport, however, on Kate's 40th birthday, the Duchess sent her own message. Alongside one of the three new photos shared to mark the milestone birthday, she wrote, Thank you for all of your very kind birthday wishes and to Paolo and the National Portrait Gallery for these three special portraits. To let fans know the message was from her and not her staff, she signed it off C. Kate rarely sends personal messages, however the couple took to their phones to send a tweet on Christmas Day. They wrote, This Christmas will be different to what so many of us had planned. From those who are alone or having to isolate away from loved ones, to the incredible people supporting our NHS and caring for those most in need, we are thinking of you. WNC. Before. The last solo tweet Kate sent was on November 12 to mark a visit to celebrate the Poppy Appeal's 100th anniversary. She wrote, It was a true honor to spend time with Colonel Bloom and thank him for the sacrifices he made for our country. Speaking to him highlighted again to me why remembrance is so important, and why we must pay our gratitude to those who fought and died so we could live in peace today. We must keep their stories alive for generations to come. And many congratulations to Emily for receiving her centenary remembrance badge. See.